Today, I'm reviewing a watch that's a little bit different. The Dajiao Yu Diamond Watch, known also as the Daxi No Mediocre. How much does this watch cost? Is it $30,000? $50,000? $500,000? No! This magnificent watch costs about $20. This isn't a serious watch review, but then again, it is a serious watch review. Hopefully I don't lose too many subscribers for this, but here goes. My beatnik review of the Dagzi Luxury Stainless Steel Quartz Number Hip Hop Ice Out Waterproof Clock. Coming up next. I originally bought this watch to wear to work to see what my colleagues would say about it, and I wasn't disappointed, but more on that later. First, the watch. The shimmering, shining Daxi No Mediocre weighs in at a hefty 145 grams, so it's no slouch. The first thing you'll notice is that the No Mediocre looks suspiciously like the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Diamond. The No Mediocre is just as ridiculously blingy as the Royal Oak, but you'll save 200,000 US dollars, give or take, and avoid the bad news. Now, here are the features according to the manufacturer. The case is 42 millimeters wide, 48 millimeters lug to lug, with a 27 millimeter bracelet. It has a two position crown that sets the time in the first place, and the date in the second place. In fact, they're just messing with you and it's the opposite. The first position sets the date and the second position sets the time. From the side, you can see that the Daxi features a three press calendar high end. Actually, only the crown is functional. The buttons at two and four are just terps for flavor. The entire watch is plated with 18 karat silver never fade and the bezel is made from carbon fiber, though it's cleverly disguised as stainless steel and hard plastic. Having said that, the finishing is good and the fit is in the pocket. Technically, this watch features 30 meters water resistance, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. The main feature of this watch, a feature that's difficult to ignore, is the crazy number of diamonds. Of course, these aren't natural diamonds, they're lab-made cubic zirconia, but these days CZs are basically indistinguishable in quality from kimberlite diamonds anyway. Because men's ability to wear diamond jewelry is limited, Dajiao Yu notes that, for a man can wear jewelry is limited, and a good it would be reflected in the table man of taste. I'm not sure that's how I'd put it, but I know what they're trying to say. One important thing to note is that on an expensive piece of jewelry, each diamond is set by pushing metal over the edges of the diamond to hold it in place. In this case, the diamonds are simply glued into place. However, they did a perfectly good job of it. So far, no diamonds have come out or come loose, and I don't see any evidence of glue marks on the money side. The steel quality and finishing on the underside of the watch is a drag. The lines that form the two halves of the bracelet are still visible, and the edges are a train wreck. Also, when I removed the cotter pins to size the bracelet, they were full-on abandoned factory with slug trails of clear glue. It isn't a dog's breakfast, but it isn't a queen's teacup either. Although I suppose for the racks it's nothing to blow your jets over. The bracelet is held by a butterfly clasp that is functional, but sometimes naughty bra. You often need to put it together and hit the sides for it to stick. Also, this bracelet arrives long, so a cat with small wrists will have to lose a lot of links. Wearing this watch in public is a gas. Even people who know luxury brands well, if not necessarily watches, think it's too much. So what kind of reactions do you get while wearing this watch? Well, here are a few examples. Oh, time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, how much do you think this watch is? Uh, 
A million. A million? No, not a million. Hi, R. R. Or, how about this one? Oh, fancy. Mm -hmm. oh, can I ask? Like, how much? How much? Guess. I, I don't know. Must be so expensive. In what quickly became an interesting social experiment, I realized that people have no idea how much this watch costs, and their guesses were based on what they think my net worth is. The higher the guess for the net worth, the higher the guess for the watch. So who is this watch good for and who should buy it? The manufacturer, of course, seems to think it's a good watch for hip-hop artists or fans of them. In many ways, it is a great bling watch, with elements of classic Audemars Piguet and gleaming in-your-face diamonds at a great price. I would say that if you're a fighter who can't slip punches yet but want to look like your role with Mayweather, this will make you a contender from a social distance but not a close inspection. This watch could also be excellent for quail hunting at a hen house if the rest of you is best bib and tucker, and will even work with Sheila's who know their groceries. If you're an alligator, you can easily gob a liquor stick or hit some backstage muggles in style with it, but if you were to chop a woodpile or beat skins on the floor, you'd likely lose ice. Finally, if you just want to have a blast with your friends, you'll get thrown plenty of big tickles and phony goats, and you can outperform Rhinestone Elvis for less than 20 bills. Let me know in the comments if you think this watch is out enough to make it, or just out of town. One final thing, I couldn't find this exact Daxi model on Amazon or AliExpress anymore, but there are dozens of copycats and the language in the ads is exactly the same, so it's probably the same manufacturer and seller anyway. I quite like the Cartier looking one. I'll put some links in the description. Well, that's my beatnik review of the Daxi No Mediocre. I hope you could dig it. It's time to split, but there are many more videos to come. So hit the subscribe button and I will see you later.